In this five series of Pinoy food hopping in Finland, I will take a closer look on how these Filipino restaurants took on the challenge of sharing a sliver of Filipino culture to the meticulous taste of the Finnish people. It's late afternoon break here in Paisano restaurant. Calm before the storm, so to speak. As dinner time approaches, every crew fuels up before customers start pouring in. Paisano is just one of the Filipino restaurants here in Helsinki. It's the latest addition to the Pobre Filipino restaurant under the management of a group of enterprising Filipino chefs. I think the opportunity na we represent the Filipino yes. food naman here in this part of the world of all places. Dito pa sa may yellow. Uh, so, sobrang contradictory from where we came from, the magigit. And the irony of it all, it worked. Mm -hmm. You know, yung, yung, yung tao dito na gugustuhan nila. Mm -hmm. Not just, I hope it's not just because it's exotic, but because it's genuinely good. It all started when a group of young Filipino chefs in Helsinki cooked up a plan to create their own Filipino food pop-up store. In 2018, they thought having their own restaurant is already ripe for the picking. And they liked it. They even asked like, kung meron daw ba kami sariling restaurant. Mm. So, lagi namin sinasabi, ah, coming soon, coming soon. Mm. So, after naman nun, nag, ano naman kami ng mga pop-up dinners, okay. na, ano taga, sold out lahat yung tickets mm -hmm. namin for mm -hmm. that. It was more of like, a passion project. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's like, nine years in the making. Uh -huh. mm. Parang you never thought of it talaga. No. Parang may conscious may effort. Oh, 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 oh. Parang ano lang kasi talaga eh, na, go big or go home. Okay. Uh -huh. So at least now we have two restaurants. And different some pobre and paisano. Pobre is like the casual dining. Okay. Yeah, na nandun yung classic. Filipino food or traditional mm. food with a twist. Mm -hmm. Not like in Paisano. Paisano, uh, medyo adventurous siya. So we stick with the flavor profile of what Filipino food tastes like. You know, the vinegar, yung kata, okay. and lahat yan. Uh, uh, you know, kasi we always believe na yung cuisine, even our food back home, it continually evolves. Oh, by the way, dito sa, sa Paisano, we always serve uh, all the dishes with, with the same room. The chili oh. garlic, the signature of Pobre. Okay. Uh, and then the Al Moreno. So, ang, ang, ang actual ang name of this, Tito Patito. Ayan. Medyo catchy siya actually. And then this is Al Moreno. Al Moreno? Which we, yes. So, <laughs> actually, mahilig ako sa sauce. So, okay. Ko. And then, ito yung actual mix with sauce niya. Yung tamarind. Okay. So, let's taste it. just to have some fresh crisp. So normally in the Philippines, if we eat unique kinilaw, masyado mga mga sindi. Yes, kasi babad. Uh, Kung baga, coated na coated yes. sa ng vinegar. But this one, tama lang yung may, may tinge lang of uh, sourness. Yes, but yes. not exactly. Uh, hindi kasi maasim nung the way we were used. Uh, Kung baga, hindi niya ino-overpower yung, yung fish. Uh, so, nananasahan ko pa tuloy yung fish. Yung fish, fish, fish because of that. Matitaste yeah. mo pa yung, yung freshness at rawness yung no, fish. fish. Yeah. And the fish itself, since na-cure siya with, with me, so may, may Mm. Meron na siyang kasamang saltiness by itself. You know, so yung pala yun. Puro isda tayo. Very yes. healthy. Uh -oh. So ini-spread ko dito itong... Yes, no problem. Yeah. Itong anong tawag mo dito? Um, yung mango sauce. Yeah, mango and sauce. Fermented ginger and... Uh, Actually, may hilig ako sa ginger. Tignan natin kung may hint. Mmm! It's a little bit of 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 a little b
sauce. Kasi ito yung barbecue sauce. Ano ba ang feeling ko nga? It's the mango sauce is enough. Yeah. But we... For the fish? Yeah. Pero ito uh, masawa ka nga. Ganun na ganun. But it's more of like... Uh, we want to build those layers of yeah. flavor. Na may savory. This is this has got shrimp uh, okay. flavor in it. Yung sauce na to. Yung sauce na to. So, we have the, the, the white fish and the layering. Because if you come to think of it, Filipino flavors, we eat a lot of masarap, di ba? And try to combine it together, you know, the mango contrasting the shrimp and then complementing the fish really, really well. Plus the thing the is, if let's say, um, you'll get your first bite, mm -hmm. first bite of the fish, and then you add this mango sauce, mm -hmm. and then parang feeling mo, uh, hindi ka masyado masaya doon. Mm -hmm. You have options. You have options. Uh, itong, yeah. itong, uh, what do you call this again? This? It's, it's pea barbecue sauce. Itong pea barbecue sauce. Ang gagawin ko ngayon pagsasama ko sila. Yes. Tignan natin. For the lack of better description, parang there's a fiesta in your mouth. Mm. Na parang, <laughs> um, may contrasting taste. May like the saltiness of the fish and then you have this sweet yes. feel nung tea barbecue sauce and sauce and the mango sauce. And meron siyang smoky na eh. Oo. Yung, okay. yung talagang parang sinugba. Yes. Yung true. Yung, yes. Yung sinugba. Yung, yung, that's what we wanted to achieve. Then. Pero hindi siya sunog na sunog. Mm -hmm. There's parang may hint lang of sour smokiness. Yung sour sa akin. Nang inggit. Parang siya may hint na Thai taste. Thai taste. I think it's because, well, aside from the the coconut, the, the sauce base itself has plenty of aromatics already. Mm -hmm. It looks simple. It's actually just like a plain white looking sauce. Um, but we have chili, of course, you have kakir, lime, we have shallots. I like kakir. Yes. The lamb is tender yeah. and then may fruitiness. Uh -huh. So parang ang lambot niya. Tapos creamy yung sauce. Ooh. sa pobre ay itong lumpiang rito na merong mongo bean at potato spring roll at yung kanilang sweet chili ay housemate. So let's see whether kumaga, it's going to be the same taste as the one we have in the Philippines. So you have you have actually two sauces whether you want chili or just basically uh, just a hint. Inside this lumpia uh, roll is mongo beans and meron siyang uh, gulay inside and the chili is actually house beans. So let's check it out. Mm. So, para siyang lumpia ang toge na na may tofu inside and it, it has carrots and other vegetables. You can always have this or try this um, house made sauce that they have. The lumpia was such a pleasant surprise. The combination of sweet, tangy, and spicy flavors in the sauce conjures a celebratory feel, and the brown coating around it added another dimension to the taste. So in Pobre, they have their own version of pancit. So it has green beans inside, uh, a lot of vegetables, and of course, I guess if you want to be healthy and you're a vegetarian, there's tofu uh, mixed in it. So let me taste first what, I mean, how different is this going to be? The pancit noodle, however, was nothing short of what we have in the Philippines. But what makes it slightly different is how the tofu added a different texture.
the sauce, the nut sauce is not overpowering. It's actually, it drives you to eat more. As for their kare kare, it helped that it was not served as a stew. Instead, it has morphed into a sauce that is spread as dressing for the beef and the vegetable around it. It's actually good. <laughs> Perhaps more than their slogan of Filipino kitchen with a twist, both Paisano and Pobre restaurants are redefining what is traditionally Filipino flavor into something gastronomically global. We're having so much attention now because it just so happened the second generations of Filipinos all around the world are becoming more confident in doing what they were served when they were kids. I think it's more of this Filipino movement is happening now because it just so happened that the Filipinos all around the world are having that consciousness of, Uy, why not? Yeah, bakit hindi? The food is simply exquisite as uh, every time I come here to eat, my senses are filled with great tastes and quality food. <laughs> Kinabahan ako noon at kinakabahan ako actually hanggang ngayon. Dahil uh, uh, napakalaki talaga ng, ng risk in any kind of business mm -hmm. that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. 